Well, good morning, guys. So uh, the flooding has started here in Davis Shores. We are on uh, Mendendez and uh, 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 Alerto, I think it is. Uh, Coquina is right at the very end of the street, and Coquina is the street that started flooding, we noticed, maybe about a half hour ago. So I'm going to walk this way. We're kind of connected to the vehicle right now just for battery power, so the camera is going to stay there. But I'm going to continue walking this way to show you a little bit about what's going on. So the water is here in the street. This is very close to that waterway that's right by a, um, a, a creek and a canal that has an old valve in, valve in it. The city has been wanting to get access to that creek. If you remember, the city of St. Augustine purchased that land in order to put a new valve in there so the flooding in Davis Shores would not take place. They have purchased the land. They have not had time to get that valve in. So it is flooding. That street is Alerto. Alerto connects around with this street here. Alerto is completely flooded. I can tell you the water's not getting into the homes just yet, but it's close to this home, but this home is elevated. The water's coming in very quickly. In Davis Shores, high tide is gonna be about 145. It takes longer for the high tide to kind of move into the neighborhood. I'm about ankle deep here, but I can tell you when we were there on uh, Coquina, Coquina started flooding so quickly. We had our car parked on high ground. I, I shouldn't say high ground, the highest part of the roadway. And within five minutes, we were running back to the truck to move it. That's how fast the water was coming in. We were kind of surprised because we'd been driving around St. Augustine and different parts of St. Augustine, and it was just fine. And then kind of just like that, it started happening. I'm going to move over here just a little bit because the road is high in the middle of the road. But once you start to go down into the edges of the roadway, I'm at calf deep. The water is to my calf. Can you, I don't know, Jeff, are you able to show, I'm going to walk to this neighbor, this, this uh, driveway here. The concern here, of course, is water, not just on the streets, but water getting into homes like it did during Hurricane and Ma uh, Matthew and Irma. So the, the, I'm, I'm just getting onto the driveway of this home here. I'm going to st still try to stay within view of the camera. The water now for this home, which is boarded up, has now made its way up to this part of the driveway. So there's some concern here because we still have an hour or so to go before we uh, hit high tide. I just surprised to see how high, I'm sorry, how quickly the water was coming in from the waterway over there. Part of the problem, like I said, is that the storm drainage system here in Davis Shores needs work. The city knows this. The city's trying to address it. The city man public works manager has also told me that they just haven't had the time nor the money, because it's expensive, to deal with all the different flooding issues across the city before the next storm hits. So again, we're dealing with more flooding over here on the side of the road. That house looks safe. I'm looking over here. Let's look on Alerto, because over here on Alerto, if you go over on this side, I'm starting to see water creep into this yard. You know, we don't care if the yard has water in it. We care about the houses that might have water in them. I don't even want to venture down to the end of the street, which is Coquina again, for concern about our car flooding. So we're not going to do that. And in fact, the fire department is out here putting caution tape up now so that people will not be driving through this. Part of the reason is you're not supposed to be out here anyway. This is an evacuation zone that's been evacuated. The other concern is this. When the streets flood, people who may come through in their cars will come and wash up and create a wake that comes and hits the homes. And so those wakes then damage the homes. The homes may have not had any water come through, come up from the, from the rains themselves or from the high tide, but they get hit with that wake and then they get water inside the homes. So the police and the fire department out here putting caution tape up so that you cannot access any of the roads that have water on them, trying to protect the homes and not just the cars. 
I'm going to turn. Can we turn around this way, Jeff? I know we're still connected to the car. Jeff is our, our photographer here today. You can even see a fire truck now positioned here uh, on this road. We're on Menendez again um, and kind of turning cars back because you, you won't be able to drive very far. I mean, you, you saw how high the water is. Go ahead and turn this way. We've got a boat coming down the street. Uh, that is a, a crew of three people in a canoe um, out in the middle of storm. Probably not advisable. But we've got them out there doing it. Uh, you got to be really careful with this water because this water has critters in it, uh, especially in this area back where they are. Um, I know personally that there are snakes uh, that come out when the waters rise. They're bugs. Fire ants float. You don't want to come across any fire ants that float. They do still bite you when they are floating in mass. And also, there was a woman who lived in this neighborhood that after, I think it was Matthew, uh, she was out trying to tend to some uh, damage to her home or to her friend's home, and she stepped on something. She didn't think anything about it. She wrapped her foot up. It hurt a little bit. She got a massive infection, and it was in the hospital for weeks. And so you just don't know what's in this water or what's in the debris left by the water when it recedes. So just be very careful when you're out here. Um, and, and, you know, I guess the suggestion is just to not be out here uh, and, and, and lollygagging because you just want to be safe and you're safer just inside your house. I know there's curiosity. We are here to try and um, assuage some of that curiosity to show you what's going on and so that you can be informed about what's happening in your neighborhood. Davis Shores, oh, I feel so bad for you this time around. We're, we're getting hit again here. Um, we will see what happens when high tide comes because high tide is still about an hour and a half or so away. I'm going to send things back to you in the studio. If you have any questions, I think I can hear you.